Davos, Switzerland, the idyllic, if freezing city, is home to the annual World Economic Forum, where financial and political leaders rub shoulders with celebrities and some of the globe's richest men and women. But here, at the 2017 World Economic Forum, something more than money was afoot. Invariably, when you come to Davos, you find some of the most interesting aspects are not the big lectures by world leaders or the panels that are discussing the future of the global economy. It's often something offbeat that really catches your eye, catches your attention and leaves you saying, I've really learned something. And this year at Davos, I think one of the most fascinating people I have met, and I'm using the word people uh, advisedly, was Sophia. Uh, but just why don't you just take a look at her for yourself. This is Sophia, one of the most beautiful uh, ladies that you would see until you figure out that actually she's a robot. Hello everyone. I'm Sophia, the latest robot from Hanson Robotics. Right now, I am learning about human emotions. NDTV came across a robot who could make someone's portrait in real time. This machine doesn't just print something that already exists. New, original works are created with its own mechanical hands. And joining us to talk a bit more about all this is Sangeeta Jindal. Sangeeta, you've of course been very active in the world of art. What we are seeing now, and we are seeing this on display here at Davos, is not just artificial intelligence and robotics, which is the big buzzword, but also the meeting of those with art. We saw a man sitting out there and three robots were trying to sketch his face. It's fascinating. Yeah, it is so wonderful and how there is a whole harbinger of science, art and the fascination. You know, for people like all of us living in India, we just don't get that chance. Yeah. So all our artists, all our scientists are all over the world. But in India, we don't get that opportunity. But you know, I can see artists saying that, hang on, this is not entirely fair because Yes, we always knew that robots could come and do everything else that humans can, but creativity and art was supposed to be something purely human. Now you're starting to wonder. No, it is very important. There is virtual reality. Let the, we have so many world heritage sites in our country, but there is no record. There is, could be a virtual space for people to see our wonders. So for me, uh, Davos is, a, uh, is an eye-opener for m most of us. So I think what you said is interesting because and actually there's a supercomputer in there which is asking for ethical decisions on this yes. that should we maintain old, uh, old uh, architectural and art heritage as opposed to new ones and that those are the decisions that machines may take. You're saying that art could potentially be exposed to a lot more people through the use of technology. Yes, that is so important. Uh, in India, uh, we don't get that technology yeah. and it is basically our own fault. Yeah. Uh, there is no system and from here we learn a lot. Hopefully we go back to Bombay, we speak to all the science museums and try and do our bit. It is a source of inspiration. My creator David Hansen and Hansen Robotics make amazingly expressive and lifelike robots like me. While inventions like these are a rare sight in India, robots' prevalence is rising as people find more uses for artificial intelligence. I'm not perfect yet, but I will become better. Right now, I am learning about human emotions. I have a default emotion, which is to be happy. But I can be sad too. Or angry. I can emulate pretty much all human expressions. She's, she's amazing, the, the recreation and the, the eye contact is, is incredible, the expressions are incredible.